So hopefully that thing stays up there when we remove the taps now. Now I have to decor the balsa. I have to decide exactly where he goes. Hello dear YouTube friends! Last week we started the anchor roller project. After making the plywood pieces, we assembled the components using some spacers to keep the correct distance between the sides. Then we expanded the cut in the catwalk, sanded it down and prepared the contact surface. And then we got ready for gluing the main anchor roller in place. Before actually gluing it up there, we did spend some time making simulations, scenarios and trying to find the best way to clamp it to make sure it stays up there in the correct position. So, what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna glue this contraption, this huge anchor roller thingy to the bottom of the catwalk while trying to keep everything uh, all the holes in line and all the, well, the two sides parallel and in line with uh, the anchor chain and uh, all sorts of measuring we've been doing all sorts of measuring and cutting and uh, fixing and stuff and uh, now I think we're ready to glue it in place so it's basically gonna be straight actually so but nothing straight on a boat so uh, <laughs> it's gonna have to be as close as we can get it I guess yeah. and we glue it in place and then uh, we will glass it in place tomorrow or, mm -hmm. or so uh, mm -hmm. a couple of days uh, but today lift it in place with glue and let stick him, it in there. Let him find his yeah. position. And forever. hopefully we put it in the right position. Of course. And everything's straight and flat and, 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 and perfect. Yes. Yeah. And we don't get too much epoxy on it. Anything that doesn't need to have epoxy on it. Mm -hmm. That's the plan. Sounds like a good plan. Let's do it. <laughs> So we got the anchor roller up in place, uh, we think. Well, we did. <laughs> well, it's there and it's pretty straight. Uh, it's, it's very straight. So, and all the pins are in line and it's clamped in place. And right now we're just gluing it. So putting a bead of glue around the whole thing. And then we'll come back and uh, glass it in place once I, so I can remove all the 
pins and, and the, um, the claps should make it easier for us. And that's what it looks like. So we'll put another little one over here on the beam as a spare and that should be it. So hopefully that thing stays up there when we remove the clamps now. And during the day I'll clean clean up the, the cut in the deck, in the catwalk, and then uh, I'll I'll uh, glass glass in this uh, this whole piece. These appear to be very much in line, and this one is very tight. It was very tight when I started, so it may just be a little bit off. It's going to be perfect enough for sure. And hopefully I don't have epoxy all over bits that are not supposed to be glued to each other. But this feels like it'll need a hammer to get up. So this is uh, what the anchor roller will look like, plus a few pins and and rollers, of course. The rollers I I turned when I was in uh, Norway at work, and uh, pins <laughs> are aligned, maybe stupidly, but perfect to fit perfectly fit a Rockna 25 anchor. And uh, this forward roller is gonna is this forward roller here is super large. To also fit the shank of the um, the anchor. So if I ever lose the 25 Rockna, then uh, <laughs> I'll have to find another one. But uh, I hope that won't happen. Anyway, good start. It's really hard to align things like this perfectly on 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 any boat and uh, maybe more so on a, on a hand-built one but this is uh, more than straight enough to 
to work for me. And uh, the anchor will certainly not care. <laughs> but looks good. Now I have to decor the balsa up here before I can glass this thing in. So that'll be fun. The router didn't take my fingers off. Some cleaning up to do and some decisions on how to decor this because I have to think about how to laminate the glass in the best and after that how to add a an edge to to the material so that's successfully decored now I just have to fill it up again with uh, fiberglass this time. What? A filler. And to get that done, I'll try and I'll try and protect the rest of the anchor roller as much as I can. So whenever you make a whole lot of uh, cord material like this, in particular balsa, uh, you want to backfill that hole. And that goes for big holes like this as well. You could, you could do this in different ways. Uh, it's not necessarily, completely necessary to do it this way. But this is one of the ways. And, uh, so, so I've removed the balsa and uh, filled again with um, micro balloons and a little bit of fiber to give it some strength. So if this edge is damaged somehow, the water will not go into uh, the balsa core. Uh, that's, that's the whole idea. So now I have to wait for this to dry before I can give it an edge that I can glass over and uh, to attach the uh, skins of the plywood here to the skin of the deck. I may be able to work on the outside below before, but I don't think I will. So I have a second roller to attach uh, right to the left of the, the forward um, chain plate. So that's what I'll try and do next. For the second anchor roller, Axel tried to keep the alignment of the pieces in a similar way, as the parts had to be correctly positioned from each other and also horizontally aligned. And another challenge was the fact that the beam of the boat is slightly bent. To get this up here, I will have to decide exactly where he goes and then clean up the beam up here to glass and glue and glass in.
What's the so, next step today? Yeah, today I'm gonna secure this thing to the boat better. Um, but I'm concerned about doing it all in one step, uh, which would be ideal. But uh, instead, I'll do it in two steps. So first, I'll reinforce these corners and uh, the central bit. And after that, I'll add the uh, glass from, from the bottom of the catwalk to the side of the anchor roller thingy. So I hope by doing that, I'll get reinforcement where I really can use it and need it. Mm -hmm. And that it'll be easier for me to lay the glass. So, so I'm reinforcing here, here and there. Mm -hmm. So I have extra strength there. And then just gluing together, basically, in between. Uh, so that it doesn't fall down. Which is highly oh, unlikely, good. by the way. So basically what it will do is it'll make three reinforced uh, anchor points for, for this whole roller. Mm -hmm. And right now it's pretty strong, sure. I'll do that on both sides and I'll use some offcuts from when we cut the, when we laminated the bow mm -hmm. and uh, try and squeeze them in. <laughs> yeah. So let's Small pieces start of glass, lots of them. Start preparation, right? Yeah. Of the material. Yeah. I cut and test fitted the glass before laminating it all in place. While I was working on securing the anchor roller to the catwalk, Rox worked on, on the trampolines, adding some glass to each of the corners where the tramps will be secured. watching more on this project next Sunday on Building Vilda. And if you enjoy watching our progress, don't be shy to give us a comment and a like. Thank you! We love creating these videos and engaging with you.